but when I wrote the play, there was something that was bothering me. I, and what I didn't know is what was bothering me was the question of power and its moral implications. And so the, that, doesn't, that theme doesn't exist in Golda, but it's the very heart of Golda's balcony. And uh, I had a great time in Israel. I, I lived like a student. I traveled around with a backpack on the buses that now are being blown up everywhere. And uh, they put me up in a place called Mishkanat Sha'ananim, which is uh, a guest house, a very fancy guest house that the state ran and, and foreigners would come in. Uh, you know what, I was there for six weeks in a, in a lovely little suite uh, overlooking the valley of Hinnom and, and the south end of Jerusalem. And uh, it was thrilling to me to be walking in places that I had heard about first when I was in Catholic Sunday school as a kid. And so, yes, there was a great deal of research that went into that. But I had asked Luke and I, I said, give me a, write me up a log of Golda's weekly, during the, during the 70, the Yom Kippur War, 73 week, who she saw every day. So Lou did this, you know, nine o'clock so-and-so, three o'clock so-and-so. One day, 11 o'clock, whatever, X. I said, what is, that? What is X instead of so-and-so, you know? She said, I can't tell you. Something's wrong with nuclear. That was the closest I came to it. And I took these notes, which I was making, and brought back here. And when I went back, when I got interested in Golda's balcony, I went back over those notes that I had made on the spot there years before. And there were no, there was this day with X on it, you know. And I thought, gee, that's as close as I came, and nobody mentioned it. And to this day, they haven't confessed publicly as they have at nuclear weapons. Everybody knows. They even know how many I was reading recently. They figure they have, Israel has 200 nuclear weapons now. <laughs>